When Erin First Rose by William Drennan When Erin first rose from the dark swelling flood, God blessed the green island and saw it was good. The emerald of Europe, it sparkled and shone. In the ring of the world, the most precious stone. In her sun, in her soil, in her station thrice blessed, with her back towards Britain, her face to the west. Erin stands proudly, insular, on her steep shore, and strikes her high harp mid the ocean's deep roar. But when its soft tones seem to mourn and to weep, the dark chain of silence is thrown o'er the deep. At the thought of the past, the tears gush from her eyes, and the pulse of her heart makes her white bosom rise. O oh, sons of green Erin, lament o'er the time when religion was war and our country a crime. When man in God's image inverted his plan and molded his God in the image of man. When the interest of state wrought the general woe, the stranger a friend and the nation a foe. While the mother rejoiced or her children oppressed and clasped the invader more close to her breast. When with pale for the body and pale for the soul, church and state joined in compact to conquer the whole. And as Shannon was stained with Milesian blood, eyed each other askance and pronounced it was good. By the groans that ascend from your forefather's grave, for their country thus left to the brute and the slave. Drive the demon of bigotry home to his den, and where Britain made brutes, now let Aaron make men. Let my sons like the leaves of the shamrock unite, a partition of sex from the footstock of right. Give each his full share of the earth and the sky, nor fatten the slave where the serpent would die. Alas for poor Aaron, that some are still seen, who would dye the grass red from their hatred to green. Yet, oh, when you're up and they're down, let them live. Then yield them that mercy which they would not give. Arm of Aaron, be strong, but be gentle as brave, and uplifted to strike, be still ready to save. Let no feeling of vengeance presume to defile the cause of, or men of, the Emerald Isle. The cause it is good, and the men they are true, and the green shall outlive both the orange and the blue. And the triumphs of Erin her daughters shall share with the full swelling chest and the fair flowing hair. Their bosoms heave high for the worthy and brave, but no coward shall rest in that soft swelling wave. Men of Erin, awake! and make haste to be blessed. Rise, arch of the ocean and queen of the West. <laughs>